Hi guys, as I've told you earlier in my introduction that I will be providing you uh, the unique concepts of physics and starting from electricity, I am introducing our first unique concept that we all know the Coulomb's law and we all know how to write the force when the medium is vacuum between the charges. But also we know that when the medium between the charges is not vacuum, in fact it is some dielectric medium which is completely filled between the charges, then we know how to write the force. But what we don't know, most of us don't know, that what is the force acting between the charges when the medium filled between them is partially filled, which means the medium is not being filled completely between the charges, in fact some of the distance between the charges is having vacuum as a medium and the rest of the distance is having some dielectric medium in it. So I would be illustrating uh, this uh, problem that how to write the Coulomb's law when the complete medium is not uh, vacuum, neither the complete medium is not some dielectric medium. I have already written all the things in, on the board and I would be explaining you. I, I am using this method to uh, reduce the time of my video and to save your time. Okay, so first of all, in first thing, when these two charges are at a distance of R apart from each other, then the force acting between them and denoting this force with F0, then the force acting between them F0 is equal to Q1 Q2 upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square, where R is the distance between them. And for the obvious reason, we are using epsilon naught because uh, the medium between these two charges is vacuum. Hence, we are using epsilon naught. This, this, this is a very basic thing, and we all know about it. Now, the other thing, second thing. When the medium is filled between the charges, the complete gap of the charges is being filled with some medium and hence the thickness of the medium is equal to the distance between the charges. The, reflect, the uh, dielectric constant of the medium is epsilon r and we all know okay, except for that vacuum and air, epsilon r is greater than 1. Hence, the force which was acting initially when the medium was vacuum would be uh, greater than the force which is acting now because the factor of epsilon r comes in the denominator which is greater than 1, hence it would reduce the force. So, we can understand this thing that the force acting between these two charges now with some medium field between them will be lesser than the force which was acting initially with vacuum between them. Okay. Now, I am introducing a concept of effective distance to make you understand this uh, partially filled dielectric medium. So, please uh, focus on this third topic initially. What is effective distance? Now, we all have noticed that when some medium is filled between the charges, then the force acting between the charges is reduced in magnitude. Now, if we assume that we remove that medium and now we have to generate the same reduced force between the charges with vacuum filled between them, so now we have to pull them apart slightly to reduce that force, which would be equal to the force which was acting when some medium was filled between them. I am repeating myself that we want to find a distance at which the force acting between the charges with medium as vacuum between them is same as the force which was acting with some medium filled between them. And obviously the force acting when some medium is filled is lesser than the force acting in vacuum. Hence, we have to pull the charges apart. So, the new distance R effective which is greater than R obviously will be equal to to 
to calculate this distance, we are writing the new force q1 q2 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Now I am using this epsilon naught due to the fact that the medium between these two charges is vacuum. And the force initially acting with the medium was this one. Now by placing these charges at a distance r effective, I am equating these two forces. We have already discussed that the force acting initially with the medium and now the new force acting with the vacuum should be equal and hence we have to pull the charges apart. Okay. So now equating these two forces we are getting the result that R effective is equal to under root of epsilon R into R and uh, under root of something which is greater than 1 will give uh, a number which is greater than 1 hence R effective is greater than R. Now, using this analogy here, when the medium filled between the charges is partially filled, its thickness is less than the distance between the charges. Now, to write the new effective distance, which means the force acting between them right now should be equal to that force which would act when these charges have complete vacuum between them. So we have to place them at a distance which is greater than this distance D. So we have to pull them apart with vacuum filled between them. So to write that new distance R effective, I'm writing, I'm using this analogy. How? I'll tell you that initially in this case, a distance of B minus T already has vacuum, this distance, D minus T already has vacuum. So this D minus T would not alter R effective. It would be written as it is in R effective. Okay. Now, T distance is being occupied by the medium which has uh, relative permittivity epsilon r or we call it dielectric constant epsilon r. So by using this analogy, we would write the contribution of this distance in r effective as t into root epsilon r. As we have already written r into root of epsilon r. r is the thickness of the medium and epsilon r is the dielectric constant. Here thickness of the medium is T and epsilon R is the dielectric constant. So R effective will be equal to D minus T plus T under root epsilon R. Now this force and that force that would be acting with vacuum between them and the distance between the charges as R effective is equal. So we can write that force directly equal to K Q1 Q2 upon R effective square and k is obviously 1 upon 4 by epsilon naught as when we are writing r effective the medium is vacuum so r effective is this we can write this expression here so in this case the force acting between them will also be same so we have understood that what how to write the coulomb's law or how to evaluate the coulomb's law force when the medium filled between the charges is partially filled, it is not being completely filled. We can verify this result. We can see that if this medium is vacuum, then epsilon r is 1 and under root of 1 will be 1 and this would yield only b. t and t will be cancelled out and force will be q1 q2 by 4 by epsilon naught t square. And if this medium is being completely filled here, then d and t will be equal and if d and t is equal, then they would cancel out with each other and t will be equal to d. So force will be equal to q1 q2 upon 4 by epsilon naught d square into epsilon naught into epsilon r which we have already seen q1 q2 upon 4 by epsilon naught d square and uh, writing this distance d here and uh, instead of r and into epsilon r. Okay, so we have verified this result. 
so this was my first unique concept hope you have enjoyed and you have uh, liked the concept so please subscribe my channel and uh, i would be providing lots of uh, interesting and important stuff in the future thank you